This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Atlantic Irrigation. Staycations are becoming a very popular trend, one that has people spending a lot of time in their backyards. Yeah, well, they're actually transforming their backyards, making them more like an oasis. And the addition of landscape lighting can take everything to the next level. And with the new LED systems, these displays are becoming more and more impressive, but the lights are much more than a cosmetic upgrade. Homeowners can put a lot of time and money into making the outside of their home look great. But when the sun sets, it all seems to fade into the darkness. Fortunately, landscape lighting could shine new light onto all of that hard work. Uplighting the front facade of the house, um, just the structure, bringing out the architectural features of the house, uplighting specimen trees, or also in landscape beds to highlight low growing color in the, in the landscape beds. Dale Carey with Atlantic Irrigation says these outdoor lights do way more than add curb appeal. They also have a lot of practical purposes, like protecting your home from burglary. There are a lot of homes, the most lit homes are the least likely to be hit by, by theft or crime. They can also help light pathways to and from your home. Uh, looking at elevation changes, making sure you highlight those, especially around seniors, uh, any kind of step down or even stairs going up second levels to decks or patios. The idea of low voltage landscape lighting isn't a new one. In fact, Dale says it's been around since the 50s. At that time, the only lamps that were available were automobile lamps. They were low voltage, 12 volt battery operated, but they, that was the only lamps available to the industry. Dale says the problem with these lights was that they would burn out too quickly. So the manufacturers developed halogen technology, which typically lasts anywhere from 2,000 to 5,000 hours. Today, it's all about LED lights, which have a life expectancy of 40 to 50,000 hours. LED was introduced to the market. Um, what has allowed us to do is now that LED's out, we got, we can do so much more with this, with a whole lot less electricity. Generally, the savings is 80 to 90 percent less uh, than versus the standard 12 volt uh, traditional incandescent, which Dale says can translate into a lot of savings. For example, the most popular system out there is a 20 to 25 uh, fixture system. That system could be generally burning about probably $18 a month in electricity. Changing that out to LED is going to be probably just above a, a buck a month. Besides the savings, an LED system can give a homeowner a lot more options when it comes to lighting. And what's really neat is you can control the whole system from your smartphone. Correct. Um, if the system is on and say the client wants to stargaze for the evening, they can simply bring up the system on their phone. And if they're on the back patio without moving around, they simply take, bring up the system on their phone and say all lights off and the system will go off for the evening. And then the next scheduled event time, everything comes right back on the way it was before. And with some of these lights, you can actually add some color to your house. Correct. Um, preset themes, they, their house can look like normal up lighting at any time and they can have preset themes or any, it's endless the amount of themes they can have preset. So say at a certain holiday or a certain uh, time of the year they want to add some color, they can simply you know, hit the, the application on their preset theme on their phone and color comes up. If you already have a landscape lighting system that uses incandescent lights, Dale says it's easy to make the switch to LED but he adds it's still very important to call a professional to do it. If you've got an existing transformer and you've changed the LED, the load has gone down, but there needs to be changes in the transformer and wire leads and the tap, wire taps that they're on. You don't want the over voltage LED lamps or you will burn them out prematurely. Which is something you most definitely don't want to happen when you consider all that landscape lighting can bring to your home. We call it the wow factor. Um, I cannot tell you how many times I've been on sites and the first time we turn on the lights, the homeowners are just literally just floored or wowed as to, wow, this is my home. And they enjoy coming, making that turn every night, coming around the corner and seeing their home. And if it's done well, they can enjoy it for, for a long time. Dell says in the past, people may have been turned off by LEDs because the light they produced had a bluish tint to it. But with all the advancements in technology, that's just not the case anymore. Wow. <laughs> the wow factor. That is, that a is wow beautiful. Factor. Well, Dell mentioned the savings by switching to LED lights. $18 a month to just a dollar. 
That's quite a difference. And you know, there are other things we can do at home that can really have us stocking up on the savings, particularly when it comes to our appliances. You may remember our friends from Delaware Electric Cooperative recently told us to make sure to keep the oven door closed while cooking so it doesn't let out hot air, forcing the oven to work harder to bring the temperature back up. Also, turn off your oven about 10 minutes before the end of cooking time as it's able to maintain that temperature for a few minutes. And if you have to heat water on the stove, fill a pot with hot tap water instead of cold. But if you want to use a lot less energy, you should prepare meals in the microwave or slow cooker. Now the co-op says set the refrigerator temperature to 34 degrees and your freezer between zero and five degrees. This is plenty cold enough to safely store food. When it comes to the dishes, wait until the dishwasher is full to run it and use cold water to clean off dishes and the dry air cycle instead of heat dry to dry them. And if you're thinking about buying new appliances, the co-op says Energy Star certified will save you more money. Yeah, well, every little bit helps and Lisa you mentioned changing the settings on your refrigerator or freezer another temperature you want to check is that on your water heater according to energy.gov manufacturers set the thermostat on the water heater to 140 degrees when most households would be just fine at 120 degrees by lowering the temperature energy.gov reports you won't only save some money but it can also help prevent scolding to you or a loved one these are all great ideas that when you hear them, you kind of think to yourself, yeah, that makes sense. Why didn't I do that before? But our life hacks don't end there. Here are a few more that can make your life a little bit easier. There are 315 reported thefts a day in Barcelona, one of the world's most popular travel destinations. So travel smart. Use an empty chapstick tube, not for your lips, but as your bank. Roll up your money and hide it inside to conceal your valuables and fool pickpocketers. Keep your jewelry organized by using kitchen essentials that double as chic storage. Use empty wine bottles for bracelets. An ice cube tray to separate your earrings and a little paint on a cheese grater makes a pretty earring display. All those keys have you confused? Use different colors of nail polish to paint them for an easy ID. Shoes can be broken in painlessly by throwing on a pair of thick socks with them. Use a hot hair dryer on the tight spots until you feel them give. With this hack, your shoes will fit comfortably every time. And even plastic bags can do wonders for your clothes. Deodorize your jeans by zipping them in an airtight bag. Pop them in the freezer at night, and by morning, your jeans will smell like they were just washed. <laughs> and I'm sure they'll feel good on a hot day, too. It's kind of funny. I, I would forget where I put them. <laughs> Well, let's head back to a time when there were no freezers or even jeans for that matter. Still ahead on Delmarva Life, one of the oldest buildings in the state stands right here on Delmarva. We're going to learn the history of this plot of land and the buildings that stand on it. Plus, why little has changed in the way people worship inside this Delmarva treasure. And later, these beads are quite a treasure, and some people travel around the world to Delmarva to get their hands on them. Learn the history behind troll beads and how each one is truly a one of a kind. But first, we just learned about different life hacks. Maybe you need a trick to get more sleep. Dr. Oz has a couple of ideas. Hi, I'm Dr. Oz. There's no way around it. Sleep is vitally important for our well-being. Here's how to get more of it. Start by making sleep a non-negotiable priority. I set a sleep curfew to ensure I always get to bed on time. And when it comes to devices like phones and tablets, keep them dim and at a distance. 